Let's say you're at Best Buy or Chroma or any other day-to-day -day tech store looking to buy a new pair of headphones. So on one shelf you see a good set of Skull Candy headphones priced at 150 bucks, and then you browse around, look at others, and you find another pair at just 111 bucks, the $40 difference. So then you flip them over and compare the specs and the features that these two headphones have. And notice that the $40 difference is just caused by some external features that you don't really need. And so you just decide to go ahead and buy the $111 version. In these scenarios, what most consumers end up doing is buying the cheaper one without noticing that there's one big glaring difference differentiating the two. And that is that the more expensive one, the $150 version in this case, has active noise cancelling, whereas the other $111 one is just noise isolating. What most consumers don't realize is that there is a big difference between active noise cancelling and noise isolating headphones. And in today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys what that big difference is. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's get right into it. So nowadays what most headphone companies do is brand the fact that they are noise isolating headphones out in big fat bold print so that most consumers who don't know the difference between noise cancelling and noise isolating get tricked into buying noise isolating thinking that it's actually noise cancelling because not many people again know the difference between the two. So let's start off with the easy one. So noise isolating headphones just block out the ambient sound entering your ears. Not completely, they just reduce the volume. So essentially think of it like this. Maybe there's a baby crying nearby or there's a dog barking really loudly. So you cover your ears and you essentially reduce the volume of the sound entering your ears. That's essentially what a noise isolating headphone does. Noise cancelling headphones however have a lot more going on. To function properly these headphones use a little physics. A little physics? So sound travels to the air in the form of waves. So this is the general form of a wave which has amplitude on the y axis which basically determines how loud the wave is and you have time on the x axis and you have your general sinusoidal shape of the wave. So let's think of this sound wave as the sound in the background or what we know is the ambient sound. So when using noise cancelling headphones this ambient sound is picked up by a microphone located on the headphone itself. From here, the sound wave is sent to the headphone circuitry. From this point on, the circuitry is sent back an inverted sound wave to the speakers in the headphones. What this inverted sound wave is, is essentially the opposite from what the initial wave was. So when the initial wave has a peak at one certain point, the inverted wave will have a trough at that point with the same height or the same deviation from the amplitude. So if you have a negative 5 amplitude in the regular wave, then you're going to have a positive 5 amplitude at that point in the inverted wave. So when this inverted wave is added to the regular original wave, these two waves cancel each other out. And so that's why it's called noise cancelling because you're left with a net sound of zero. So like you don't have any net sound entering the speakers in your earphones and thus all the noise has been cancelled. It's pretty similar to doing some basic arithmetic. So say you have a plus one and you add negative one to it and that gives you zero. That's basically what this is. So when talking about noise cancelling headphones, take it with a pinch of salt. What I mean by this is that while in most cases noise cancelling headphones do a really good job in cancelling out all the ambient noise, there are still some situations where it's not perfectly accurate. For example, let's say you're on a flight and you hear the sound of the turbine engine spinning. That's a sound that you're going to hear for pretty much the entire flight and the sound is pretty much constant. So. If you put noise cancelling headphones on in this scenario, since that ambient sound is pretty much the same throughout the entire flight, the noise cancelling headphones will be able to do a really good job cancelling that noise out. But let's say you're in a library for instance and someone's phone starts ringing all of a sudden. Because it's so fast, the microphone on the headphone will now be able to pick that up instantly and so that doesn't really count as an ambient sound because it's technically 
not part of the surroundings it's just a random thing that occurred so it can be considered a disturbance in the ambient sound and when that happens these noise cancelling headphones can't really pick that up so you're probably gonna hear when someone's phone starts ringing when you're in a library or any other environment like a library so that's it for the video guys hopefully you enjoyed it and learned something new and if you did don't forget to leave a like and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this also, let me know in the comments which ones you prefer, noise cancelling or isolating headphones. And that's it.